Over the last year of making videos, I've gotten a lot of comments about the cleanliness of my car. So today I wanna to share with you my minimal process for maintaining my car's interior and exterior. So to be honest up front, there aren't any crazy tricks or hacks I'll be sharing that will make your Tesla instantly clean. And also I don't use any miracle products, nor am I going to try and sell you a cleaning product. At the end of the day, there really is no substitute for some elbow grease and a meticulous process. And my process is minimal in that I only use soap, water, and a microfiber towel with my typical maintenance cleaning. And once or twice a year, I do put a short term ceramic coat on my car and I do polish the body maybe once per quarter. As a disclaimer as well, I do not have a professional ceramic coat on my car or any paint protection film. And at the end of today's wash, I will show you how my paint is held up over the last year and a half of ownership. Tesla doesn't really have a good track record when it comes to paint quality, but I am happy to report that my 2020 Model 3's paint still looks very good. Starting things off, I do use a touch-free car wash during the colder months when I don't have access to an outdoor hose at my apartment complex. And I use the basic package, which just washes the car with water and soap and then air dries it. And typically after the wash, I then dry all the glass and chrome portions of the car with a microfiber towel to prevent any water spots. The door sills are notorious for collecting some water and dirt that drain from the doors. So the next step is cleaning all the sills and this detail will really make your car look clean when you open the doors. It's also a good idea to do the same type of wipe down with the front and trunk to keep those areas clean. And in terms of the interior, I do a general wipe down of all surfaces with a microfiber towel, including the dash and center screen. And for my seats, I spray them down with water and then wipe with another microfiber towel. And even after over a year of daily driving, water still beads up when I spray down the seats, meaning the hydrophobic barrier is still present and protecting the seats. So this is my process. I try to perform every one to two weeks to keep my car in showroom condition. Now I will admit I did dress the tires for today's video and this extra step at the end of the wash can certainly help add that extra crispness to your car's overall appearance. My general advice is that if you want your car to always look new, you have to put in the time consistently to maintain it. Ceramic coatings are a great way to protect your car's exterior, but in my experience, they aren't 100% necessary if you buy a Tesla. And you can get away with a minimal regimented process that will still keep your car looking new. And if you do find yourself in need of making any repairs to paint chips from road debris, check out the video I made which overviews the process for using Tesla's paint repair kit. But this is going to bring us to the end of today's video. I'm hoping to bring you some more full self-driving footage soon, and I'll see you in the next one.